lovely people. Welcome, welcome back to Live Life Lovely. I am Lakeisha, your certified life coach and professional organizer. And I'm also here just sharing what I do when I do it, um, just to inspire you for some ideas. So thank you so much for returning back to the channel. I do apologize. I haven't made a video in a while, but I am motivated by my new subscribers and by my new house. I have a new house that I'm working to decorate for the holiday season. So it's about mid-October. So I wanted to pull out all of my decorations and lay them out to organize them a little bit so I can see how I'm decorating this particular space. So join me. I'm going to share with you. Hopefully you'll get some great ideas. And please, 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 if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe below and check out my videos from last year um, where I shared how I organized for the holiday season. I will be organizing again this year for the holiday season, so stay tuned. So again, thank you so much, my subscribers, my lovely people, for always viewing my videos, and I appreciate you. And until next time, remember that life is as lovely as you make it. See you next time. Hello lovely people, this is Lakeisha. Like I said in the introduction, this is my harvest haul, so I will be sharing with you how I'm going to use these items to decorate my house for the fall season. I'm going to start with my favorite, these glass pumpkins. And these pumpkins I actually got from the dollar store and I love them. They're all different colors they pop out wherever they are you can sit them in a cluster or you can use them in other ways and I'll show you some other ways we could use this these later I also have this painting that I like because it's shiny and I like shiny stuff but it also has fall colors on it so there's my painting I bought these wreaths last year from the thrift store and what I like about these wreaths is they are versatile because they're small so you can place them um, on a wall in a small area um, together like this or you can place them diagonally or you can take a candle and make them into candle holders so I like these wreaths because they're pretty versatile these are candles and I'm so happy that I don't have to buy any candles these are all candles from last year I have orange red yellow and brown and these are great for decorating I especially like the two-tone and what about the red I like is that I can also use them at Christmas so I'll get my money out of those and they were just a dollar um, the next part of my harvest haul is this bow. I think someone gave me a gift and I went with this bow. I just really like the bow. It's velvet. It's pretty. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I'll figure it out. And I also have some sunflower ribbon and it's big enough to make big bows. So um, I haven't decided if I'm going to put the bows on a door or wrap them around um, something to make it pop, but I'll figure that out. But this ribbon is great. You can bend it and twist it. However you, whatever you do to it, it'll just stay. So I love using that ribbon, and I think that's very pretty. Next, I have um, this decoration. This welcome tin. It's tin, so you don't have to worry about this breaking. But I wanted to put this over the coat closet um, to welcome guests as they put their coats up during the holiday season. And I also have this pumpkin patch durable wall hang. And I usually place this where the kids are because we always go to the pumpkin patch and they get really, really excited about going. And so this is just a reminder to clear my schedule so we can go to the pumpkin patch because we do it every year. So I'll put that in a high traffic area as well. So these two are my high traffic area decorations. All right, moving to the other side of the table, I have candy corn lights, and I'm sorry about that noise. I just kicked one of my glass votives that I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, so these are my 
candy corn lights and I got these at a really really discounted price after Halloween for like 13 cents or something but they looked really nice at Thanksgiving last year brightened up the house so I want to keep them haven't decided what I'm going to do with these yet um, I always like maybe I can put them in here and light them up and let the glass light I mean that's an idea who knows but I'll figure it out so those are the lights and then um, since I have the glass up here I love this glass you can get this glass from the dollar store I think I got this from the Christmas tree shop for like three or four dollars but these are versatile as well you can put so many things in, in them and be creative um, let me see I can put a candle in here and maybe put some potpourri at the bottom and make that a nice little centerpiece or I could use one of these beautiful glass pumpkins and put them in here as well and then surround that with potpourri or some type of um, mesh at the bottom and make that a centerpiece so I love the world of candles because you can do so much with them you could put acorns in them you could put pine cones in them um, anything you want and then I have another piece of glass that I just like putting fruit in maybe some lime and lemon or something like that and put that in the kitchen here are my high traffic um, little quotes I like to have around the house during holiday time friends are in abundance of all good things dreams become miracles when you believe and the warmth of family and friends turns a house into a home. So definitely a high traffic collage somewhere near a closet or hall. And these are um, glass candle holders. But what I like to do is turn them upside down and use some more of my pumpkins and sit them on and then you'll have them at various heights up and down and that could be um, a centerpiece and you can actually stick some potpourri or stick another pumpkin or a candle inside of here or some fabric inside of here to make that pop so again I love glass because you can just do so much with glass and I actually use these for Christmas and Thanksgiving decorating and lastly I have wreaths not sure what I'm going to do with the sunflower wreath yet maybe make it a centerpiece in the middle of the table or put it on my um, fireplace over here I haven't figured it out yet and then I have this other wreath with a scarecrow you can't have fall without a scarecrow here and of course the hanger to hang the wreaths on so I'm going to take this pumpkin and show you how I'm using it on my here's my fireplace let me back up a little bit and this is the mirror but these are how I'm using these different pumpkins on a mantle and I've taken some leaves and just strategically placed them around them to hug them a little bit and so over here this pumpkin it's all by himself so I'm going to add the pretty red pumpkin and strategically place it so the leaves can cover it a little bit and so there you have it a little pumpkin on your fireplace so I hope you enjoyed all of these ideas and I am going to get started decorating and I hope you'll do the same alright thank you so much have a wonderful day and I will see you next time